Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to a uh, sea of brown and white. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I just got me a bunch of cows here ready to breed. And uh, yeah, this is the eccentrician. Um, welcome back to my Let's Play series featuring the Feed the Beast Mind Crack mod pack. And yeah, I'm just uh, proliferating some cow here so I can so I actually don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, so yeah, good stuff. And with that, let's go ahead and do a little bit more work over here in our hole. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I have basically um, duplicated this design three more times, for the most part, except for these things right here. And, oh, come on, place, place, thank you. Okay, so yeah, uh, so yeah, you also see that I put up a piping system so I could get logs into my sorting system. Very good. And I also did the wiring over here. So yeah, I got my setup here that I formulated last episode down here, as well as got everything wired up awesome stuff. Now you'll notice something over here. This is called a null cell, another of the red power logic gates. Uh, and its recipe, let's go ahead and pull one up. Null cell. There we go. There's the recipe. Cool. So this is the stone red wire. Uh, so that's a little bit different than the stone wire in that it takes a stone wafer and a red alloy wire to construct. Very good. Uh, so yeah, I just got a few of those in there just for for ease of use, compactness sake. And we are good to go here. I also got the, the blue electric network going. Awesome. Okay, time for a little bit of a throwback here. Uh, so yeah, what I've got here is my original Let's Play uh, series world uh, with just red power and a few others very good stuff uh, and I actually have imported it to the Mindcrack mod pack which is really cool. Uh, so the reason that I am in this world is to actually take another look at my tree farm here. So yeah, very good stuff here. I basically want to take a look at the guts of it and recall how I actually set it up. Uh, so let's see here specifically these little bits right here, the, the transposers connecting everything. Now, if I recall correctly, it was connected to a sorting machine. Yes, it was. And the sorting machine went to those. Okay, very good. Awesome. Okay, and that also went to the input for sorting. Okay. And now with machines built and placed, this place looks a whole lot different. Oh yes. Uh, so yeah, basically what I've got here is transposers and I've got sticky pistons here. So yeah, with the, uh, with the shafts here covered with covers, uh, the dirt situation that we had earlier should not be a problem. Uh, so yes, basically what's going to happen here is the sticky pistons are going to cover this here block breaker, uh, at least when when I want a tree to grow there. So very nice. Okay, now that we've got most of the collection system up and running, yeah, basically we've just got a bunch of tubes over here connected to all of these machines and whatnot. I wanted to go ahead and start design on the uh, on the means of growing the tree. So what I'm going to do here, I've got a little bit of space here. Let's go ahead and put a tube there, and then I want to paint it white. So white tube there, very good. Then I want to place a deployer on it. A bit deployer, thank you. Okay, and then I have uh, replicated that over here with different colors and whatnot. Very good. I'll go ahead and deployer, deployer, come on, deployer, there we go. And one more, there we go. Cool. And that is going to house saplings. Very good. And then over 
here I'm going to have wireless receivers and uh, those are going to be connected to more to players. Okay, you and deployer. Hey! <sighs> Bother. Okay, I gotta get that going. Okay, so there is our setup here. Uh, but yeah, you'll notice that there's no dirt here. That is what the sticky pistons are for. Those are actually going to move this block dirt into the way of the block breaker. So very good stuff. I just need to set up another bit to, to have that go. And I think I want either some... Uh, no? Yeah, I think I do just, just want some wireless receivers for that. Uh, so I'm going to get that set up. Okay, time for a quick bit of crafting here. Uh, basically what I want to do is take some wool and some sodalite, make me some blue wool. There we go, and then I'll cut it up into covers. Here we go. Cool. And uh, then I'll take us some blue alloy and surround it with the covers. Cool, that'll get us blue wool jacketed blue wire. Now, the jacketed blue wire, we'll go ahead and put over here some very good stuff here. Let's grab that and, and you. I want right there, there, that. Very good. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, just a good look at this. I basically tied in everything into a small pipe network, including the output for the block breakers. And that's going to go filter into this here, uh, the sorting machine. Sorting machine, any of the saplings that I'm going to be planting are going to go through here and be colored. Anything else is going to go through the black tube, which is right there, and into the sorting system. Very good. Uh, so with that, I believe we're ready for a functional test of this system. Uh, so I set up a... I, uh, blah, blah, what is this? What is that? That is a wireless transmitter. Yes. Uh, hooked up to a NOT gate. And uh, this lever is currently turned on, so we'll turn it off. And that moves the dirt in front of the two deployers. Very good. Now let's take our remote control and... Ooh, hold up. I'm missing something. Okay, let's go ahead and... Let's see, bone meal was 14, dirt mover was 13. Uh, I didn't want that. Hey now. Oh, something ain't kosher here. Okay, what happened? Uh, oh, that's what happened. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, you get back in that blur. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, so thirteen, fourteen. Let's go fifteen. And then we'll name it. Let's see what we want to name it. Uh, let's see. Tree planter. And set name. Two frequency 15. Cool. Uh, next. Over here, we'll just go double click on tree planter. Set all of these. Very good. So, nice function of these for quick assignment. And with that, there we go. Now, let's go in here. Let's go remote 12. We already have that. Let's go ahead. Boop, boop. Uh, shift click. Tree planter. Hey, now. Don't do that. Aw, now I have to replant the dirt. Eh. Do I have dirt? Yes, I do. Okay. Testing. Testing! Okay, there's the dirt. Now, now let's do this the right way this time. So let's go to tree planter and click
click. There's our saplings. Cool. And bone meal. Click. Click. Oh yeah, no, no bone meal. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try this again once more. Bone meal. No. <laughs> ah. Bone meal. Other bone meal. Okay. Okay, one more time. Bone meal? Yes. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold up. What's up? Uh. There's dirt. Hello, dirt. Okay, dirt. Hmm, that was dirt there. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's go dirt. Let's grab us a cassia sapling. Yes. Yes. Hey. I said a cassia sapling. Thank you. Now. Uh, bone meal. Or should I say silver do? Wipe. Okay. Big tree. Sure. Wow, there's some decently sized trees here. Okay. Ah, uh, so, the saplings that I decided to choose here for this application, uh, this will be birch, of course, that is acacia from Extra Biomes XL, and of course we've got spruce from vanilla, and this is a silver lime tree. Uh, yeah, I chose this tree simply because it is actually a really nice source of apples. Uh, so, yes. Time to see about our next step. Now, our tree collection. Here we go. Um, after turning this off. Off with that. Okay. Don't want the dirt in the way. Now, tree collection. Here we go. Looking good. Uh oh. Why not far? Ah, it just didn't render. Okay, very good. Hmm. Very good. And last but not least, turn the switch off to move the dirt back. Okay, so at least in part, the uh, the design of this piece is complete. I just need to figure out how to automate this, going from say four different steps down to one. Very cool. And there are lots of leaves falling. Very good. And um, let's see, last thing that I had not covered here. These here transposers are hooked up to a 30 second timer. So every 30 seconds it'll pick up any saplings that, are, that have dropped. So very cool stuff. Okay, so some time has passed here. I was pretty sure I had, I had to deal with this problem. So yeah, right now I just need to figure out how many logs were missed high on each tree. So on that one it looks like just one. Very good. This one, how many? Just one. Okay, and on this one, looks like, yep, again, just one. Cool. All right, so I just need to get a few things together. I need to add a frame uh, to each of our gathering shafts, and then we should be good. Just a little bit of adjustment on the timing, and we'll be good. Well, I seem to be running into a bit of a problem here. Uh, so if we look in our deployer here, we see dirt and birch wood. So yeah, I only want saplings here. And uh, I believe according to the pipe system network here, it's showing this deployer as the nearest inventory uh, available for the pipe system instead of the, the uh, sorting machine that I have down there. So, that would be an easy fix. I just need to get my brushes out and uh, I should be good to go. Okay, I've got what I need here. I just have some iron. And if we do this, we've got restriction tubes. Now, the restriction tubes should be easily enough painted 
We just need to replace these. And... Sure. Okay. Now let's just place that there. Paint it green. Ah, oh, perfect. Ha! Looking good. Okay, so yep, I just need to do that with the rest of them. Well, I seem to have run into a problem with this system, uh, specifically with this here loop, with the saplings actually going all the way through here and over and over and over again. Yep, uh, so what I need to do is actually separate this, p this piece of tube with the rest of the system and uh, actually have an output side of this. So that's what I'm working on here. Got a nice little line here. And uh, I suppose I need to apply covers liberally. And uh, actually reverse these two deployers order. So yeah, basically move these over there and, and uh, get all the pipes and all that over hooked up to this. Very good. Okay, circular motions with the camera, not a good thing. Okay, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. I went ahead and finished up the pipe thinger over here. Very good. And it is looking good. Yes, very nice. Uh, so with that, time for another test. So let's go up. I need to get my remote. I need to flip a lever over here, boop, and here we go. Let's try this again now. Um, tree planter. Click. Got it. Okay. Now, bone meal. Oh, yeah. Okay, take two. Bone meal? Bone meal. Ah, very good. Okay, now, uh, take that off, and tree collection, here we go, looking good so far, a little bit of render issues with the video, that's okay, and... Now here you'll notice that uh, the heights on those shafts are a little bit different. That uh, was actually intentional because of uh, differences in heights with the, with the trees that I needed. And it still missed one! What the hey? Uh, anywho... Bother. Okay, more adjustments that I need to do. What lameness is this? Other, yeah, well, that'll probably just be an occasional thing. All right, and we're looking good here. Very good. So most of the issues are kinked out. So very good. I'll go ahead and turn that back on. Awesome. Now I just need to get this thing automated. Well, I uh, kind of ran out of a screwdriver here, so it's time to get an upgrade, shall we? So, first thing that I'm going to do is make me a copper coil. Uh, just get me this stuff going here. Okay. And then I am going to... Let's see, what else do I need to make? I need to make... That's right, BT batteries. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, there's those. Those, those, I do need three BT batteries. Cool. And two of them are go, gonna go here with a chest. Uh, I need to make me some wood. Thank you. There's wood. Blue alloy. And now for the BT batteries. Chest. Obsidian. And copper coil. Cool, that gets me a charging bench. Very nice. And then, BT battery, brass, and a green sapphire should get me a sonic screwdriver. Very good. Now, uh, let's see the charging bench we're going to put right here. Bloop. 
And it's going to go ahead and get its power now, and then we are going to charge said sonic screwdriver. Very nice. Okay. Now I have a screwdriver that won't break. Very nice. Okay, I believe I have this figured out in one step here. So basically I have a receiver here at set at frequency 10. And uh, this actually triggers the, uh, the 15, which is our tree planter. And then it waits a little bit. Goes to, not there, 14, which is bone meal. Cool. And then it waits a little bit. Hits this toggle latch, which is 13, our dirt mover. So that moves our dirt block underneath our tree. And it also goes to 12, which starts uh, this thing up. Cool. And uh, that's what brings these up. Awesome. So I think it's time for a test. So let's go up here. Let's set our thing here to our tree farm trigger. That is frequency 10. Cool. And let's make sure everything's clear. It is. And here we go. Two trees. Hmm. So two trees did not go. That could very well be because I'm low on bone meal. Other than that, everything looks good. I'll go ahead and double check that right now. Oh, let's see. Yep, no bone meal. Okay, so that's our big big problem here. Let's make sure no dirt was taken, and that looks to be the case. Awesome. Okay, so I just need to get bone meal, and we'll try that one more time. Okay, here's hoping this is going to be the final test, so here goes nothing. And while well, everything looks to be doing just fine now, let's see how the rest of it goes, and yeah, looks like it took everything. I'll just double check on the lime tree there. Other than that, yeah, definitely good stuff. All right, that is a tree farm. Very cool. All right, and it looks like you got everything there. Awesome. Very nice. Now I think it's about time to compress my inventory a little bit. So I'm going to take me these three electric tools here, an energy crystal, an advanced circuit, two carbon plates, two advanced alloy. Very good. That'll get me a gravity tool. So yes, my three electric tools will now be one. Yeah, I think I'm going all out with the upgrades here. So yeah, advanced diamond drill. How fun is that? Okay, now I think it's about time to upgrade my power generation just a little bit here. Uh, so let's go ahead and put a generator in here with a carbon plate, a couple of these, and a couple of these. There we go. That'll get me a solar panel. Very nice. Uh, yeah. So, solar panel, that'll be cool. I've already scouted out an area where I want to use this. Uh, so let me go ahead and get me some more cables going, and I uh, will see about getting this set up. Oh, hey, bird's eye view. Awesome, good stuff. So yeah, here I am, just basically up above the uh, what was it, the blacksmith up here. So this I actually want to set up as my solar farm. That's good stuff. So let's see what I've got right here. I've got MFE, and that's going straight down to my MFSU. And uh, then I've just got my line going up here. I just need to finish that up, and then I can place down my solar panels. Awesome stuff. And up we go. Come on. There we go. There. Cool. Now, 
that. One solar panel and. Dip dip. No. <sighs> Darn it. Okay, fine, be that way. I gotta move that. Okay, time to test here. So, I expect I'll be getting two EU per tick, because if I recall correctly, these solar panels will only give off one, at least currently. So, let's go ahead. Two and two out. Yep. That's the way it goes. Mm hmm. So, yeah, once I get those things upgraded, we'll do better, but I think we're a little bit off for that. Okay, time for a little bit more in the way of Greg Tech stuff. So, what I have here is an extractor. Mix that with some advanced circuits, some aluminium, and let's see, what was the other thing? Oh, yes, these things. The machine holes. So we get an industrial centrifuge. Very good. Uh, so, yeah, the industrial centrifuge will come in really handy, especially when giving me uh, stuff like copper and, and other stuff like that. And let's see, I do have an LV transformer. I need to go ahead and take this thing and move it. Here we go. Okay, yep, I had it all planned out here. I was going to stuff it right here. I was going to grab me an LV transformer. Hold on, where am I? There I am. Yep, yep, yep. Now, there. Err. Oh well. Anyway, um, let's see here. We need... I want to place this correctly. See if I can, anyway. And... Nope. Not happening. Okay, time to get the tool out. Now, this is the tree tap, so I'm going to hold down K, right click. Wrench activated. Gotta have it go over there. Perfect. And plop down the industrial centrifuge. Yay. Now I just need a piece of stone. Easy enough. That. Thank you. Yeah, it's being weird on me. Okay, there's the industrial centrifuge interface. Uh, so yeah, I just need to feed it empty cans or whatnot and another piece of stuff. Or is it the other way around? I don't quite recall. Okay, anyway, yeah, I definitely gotta give that a try and get some stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and test out this industrial centrifuge, shall we? Uh, so what I have here is some endstone dust. So yeah, I just ground up some endstone dust in a, uh, a centrifuge, or uh, excuse me, a, a macerator. Yeah. I'll go ahead and supply it with some empty cells. Ah, here we go. Looking good, and it's going to go ahead and do its thing. Are we going to get it done here pretty quick? Come on. There we go. Okay. So, let's see what we got. Uh, so, from the endstone, we got sand. Not bad. Uh, tungsten dust. Cool. Helium 3 cell and a helium cell. Very nice. So those would be cool. Um, yeah, the thing that I was looking for from there was the helium cell. I uh, did want to see about actually making some coolant cells out of that so I can make like, uh, uh, come on, what you call them? Overclocker upgrades, other stuff like that. Oh no, cow escaped. Cow escaped. Time to kill the cow. Okay, so yeah. Oh, there's my stuff. And I'm full up. Oh no. Oh, well, time to fix that. Bip, bip, bip. There. Okay. Well, with that, I'll go ahead and end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed. And, um, yeah, I hope to see you on the next one.